Now we are actually putting our eyes on our second speaker, which is Ascot Consulting. So Philistas Ascot is assisting companies to improve workplace safety, efficiency, and productivity. Topic that they speak about is mental health and well-being findings during COVID-19 lockdown on seafarers and applicable interventions. So we want to Let's welcome hear our it. speaker. Let's hear it from Dimitrios Lirakos. Dimitrios is just joining us, so shouldn't be a second. Yeah, so we are looking, we're looking for, we're waiting for Dimitrios to join. We see the speaker is joining, isn't he? Oh. Yes, we see Dimitrios. Hello, how are you? Hi, we're doing we're very good. fine. We're how very happy to see you okay? here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Such a wonderful conference. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Uh, for thank you. Thank you for joining. And Dimitrios, very simply, then uh, introduce yourself. Please share your screen. The stage is completely yours. Thank you. One moment to share the presentation. Yes, I think. Yeah, we see. We see your screen. We see your yeah. screen. You can put it on on the full screen. Yes, Felicitas Askov. Uh, allow me to introduce myself first. As you said, my name is Dimitrios Lirakos. I'm a clinical and forensic psychologist. I worked in uh, Europol and the Hellenic Police for uh, quite some time as a profiler. And I'm uh, the founder uh, and CEO of uh, Felix Osaskot. Uh, we will begin by telling you very briefly what we do. Uh, share with you some findings that we have from the assessment of uh, uh, CFRs and of personnel during COVID-19 and the interventions that we applied. Now, uh, ASCOT was founded in uh, 2006. Uh, we provide services to organizations from various sectors, not only maritime, but also industries, healthcare, healthcare hospitality, and uh, aviation. We are uh, an associated member of uh, Intertanko, and all our services have been certified by the Bureau Veritas. Uh, specifically, we specialize in employee selection, uh, improvement of retention, development of soft skills, resilience and teamwork, and uh, to help the organizations uh, develop and improve uh, the safety culture. <coughs> Let me tell you a few things about the tests that we are using uh, in Maritime. They are specifically designed for uh, Maritime. Uh, they have been translated and validated in 10 languages, English, Greek, French, Italian, Russian, Ukrainian, Romanian, uh, German, Tagalog, and uh, Mandarin Chinese. So far, until February 2020, we have assessed more than 64,000 seafarers from 64 different countries. They are ranked specific. And uh, those CFRs assessed are from all uh, ranks uh, uh, across the board. Here are some uh, organizations based on which we develop and uh, improve uh, our assessments. EU OSHA, TMSA, ISM, uh, ITF, IMEC, and Occupational Network. Before we go to the findings, uh, let me uh, tell you very briefly what we mean about mental health and why uh, this is important. Uh, these are the factors that we have focused and we are continuing to focus uh, during this uh, strenuous period. Uh, we focus on uh, the ability of the person to feel in control and actually to realize what things the person can control and what not. Uh, being resilient and able to cope, uh, being confident or to uh, say it a little bit better, uh, build uh, the person's confidence, to feel good about uh, himself, uh, manage and express emotions in a constructive uh, manner, and uh, building and maintaining good relationships, either personal or professional. Uh, I believe that we can all agree that these elements uh, about mental health are also essential for uh, well-being as well. Now, 
from February 2020, when the pandemic started, until uh, May 2020, we have not included uh, June because we are still uh, on uh, with uh, the data. We provided uh, assessments about uh, mental health, phobia, depression, anxiety, fatigue, work-related stress, uh, and uh, many other factors as well. We did our well-being survey and we also assessed uh, personality characteristics. We also provided consulting, coaching, and crew support when needed. Uh, almost uh, 2,000 uh, on 2,500 seafarers from 17 different countries, on ranks, on board and shore, from tankers, bulkers, container ships, and uh, crew vessels uh, as well. What we have found from these uh, assessments and the interviews with uh, the seafarers. I will not uh, focus uh, much on all the findings, only to those that I have underlined, because I consider that these are uh, extremely important. 39% reported that uh, they will uh, think to change uh, the profession. Uh, almost uh, 4 out of 10 will consider a change in profession. This is quite high. 22% also reported that they had uh, periodically suicide thoughts and 13% uh, reported uh, or presented signs of paranoid ideation due to extreme levels of stress. So these three uh, elements, based on my opinion, I consider to be the most important because uh, anxiety, stress, fatigue, these things are all to be expected, especially during this uh, lockdown. But those three numbers are very important and it should worry us quite a lot. Now, what we, did we do uh, and what we are continue to do in order to assist uh, the, the CFRs? We created three pillars, education, self-help and uh, first aid uh, interventions. In order uh, to be applicable and effective, we created some specifications so that our systems uh, needed uh, to fulfill them, to be easy to use, simple, automated, uh, practical in terms of uh, using the system and the interventions, no need for continuous internet access, especially for the CFRs who are on board, and confidential for the part of uh, self-help. So the person will have will be comfortable enough in order uh, to make a proper assessment and receive uh, the necessary interventions needed. How we are doing that? How we are uh, providing uh, that support? First, about ed education, we have uh, our e-learning courses. We focused and uh, modified uh, three of our courses uh, according to the new situation with COVID-19 our mental health awareness program, our resilience program, and the problem solving uh, three uh, essential uh, things uh, that uh, will help us deal with stress, anxiety, uh, and uh, we will be able to uh, increase our well-being. About self-help, uh, we had uh, already before COVID-19 our uh, application uh, system called Supporting that assesses psychological and social issues, 14 uh, factors, uh, which is uh, applicable for office personnel and uh, crew as well. And uh, for the first aid, we also have an application called CASE that also assesses social and psychological issues. It's applicable for uh, crew, office personnel, and uh, guests uh, on, uh, on board uh, cruise ships. Uh, the last one, the case application, is a third party assessment, which means that if uh, the captain of, uh, or the ship's doctor uh, sees that someone presents some strange behaviors, logs into the application, uh, selects the characteristics that uh, the person uh, presents and uh, an initial diagnosis with practical interventions appears automatically on the screen of uh, the tablet or the phone. Uh, 
let me, uh, we also, I forgot to mention, we have created uh, a number of uh, hard copy guides and uh, videos uh, about uh, the office personnel work from home, which proved to be quite stressful for some, for CFRs, and also a guide about uh, how to deal with children, what to tell them during uh, the, the pandemic. Also, a number of videos about uh, problem solving, uh, some things about uh, increasing their well being. Uh, we focused mainly on very simple interventions, very practical ones. Uh, there is no point to propose things that uh, cannot be applied either aboard the vessel or during a lockdown. Uh, for example, uh, to go out and uh, jog, uh, it's a brilliant idea. But uh, the problem is that it's not always uh, was not always possible. Uh, I have a couple of videos: one to present uh, the case application, the other one to present the supporting application. Uh, what it uh, does, what is its features? And let's see now the second video about supporting. Looks comfortable to use. Yeah, really good. Also, it's nice to have uh, videos that show yeah. what you can do. Sorry, did you say something? Uh, we, we just said that it's, it seems like easy to use, comfortable. Uh, that's uh, the point. Uh, I don't know how much time uh, do I have. If uh, I run out of time, uh, we can uh, leave it there. Mm -hmm. uh, the the point is uh, to have something that's easy to use, yeah. especially for supporting to have the ability to be confidential, but also to have the ability to provide instant support in case uh, something is needed. And when we say instant support, we don't, don't we do not mean uh, only the automated uh, uh, interventions that are presented in the screen, but also. Uh, to have the ability to send a message via Viber, WhatsApp, yeah. uh, okay. to provide more information in case it's needed. Okay. That, that's brilliant. Thank you. Uh, if you uh, want any further information, uh, you can uh, send us an email or you can visit our uh, website uh, in order to see all our uh, services, not only during COVID-19, but we, what we generally do. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. Yeah, thank you very much for that. And we'll go straight ahead into the questions. Um, the first question we have for you is what is considered the biggest issue among seafarers during this period? That, that's an excellent question. From where can I start? <laughs> How much time do I have to answer the question? Uh, tr try to be compact. <laughs> okay. uh, I will focus on the thing that. Uh, uh, I receive uh, the most when I speak with uh, the seafarers during this period. Yeah. It's uh, the fear uh, because they are away from home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, when we are away, we have a tendency to, when we receive information about bad news, for example, uh, our child breaks uh, his hand, 
Yeah. Yeah. We have things in our mind to create a mental picture about being the hospital uh, in a complete uh, body uh, cast. Yeah. That's a problem. And especially since uh, in the news uh, we are talking always about COVID-19, how many people died, how many people are infected, uh, what is the prospect of all this. When you are away, you have the tendency to exaggerate that in your mind. Mm -hmm. It's possible. Yeah. Uh, so that is the biggest problem uh, amongst yeah. the right now. Yeah. Well, thank you. And, and I'm sure it is and it's, it's a you know, difficult subject. So for the second question is, are there um, any effective interventions to assist them? Or, yeah. uh, sorry, are there any effective? What are the effective interventions uh, to assist them? Effective interventions mm -hmm. is applicable inter interventions. Mm -hmm. uh, if someone is depressed aboard the vessel, uh, you cannot uh, tell him go to see a movie in the cinema. Sure. Because that's impossible to do. Sure. But uh, there are abilities on board the vessel that can uh, uh, make us uh, feel uh, happier and increase our well-being. Mm -hmm. That okay. is uh, what we are trying to do with uh, those uh, systems. Okay. That's great. Uh, thank you so much. Perfect. Thank you, Demetrios, for the informative presentation. It was interesting and yeah. nice to hear. So stay with us and we say goodbye for now. Goodbye. We say goodbye. Bye. 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 Have a great day. Bye-bye.